Scientists from the Met Office have developed a way to discover how the climate will change in Britain over the next century. The government have released the UK Climate Projections Report and it details how the rainfall and temperature will be affected within the UK. It is hoped that the government, businesses, local authorities and people that live in the UK can use the report to plan for the future. People can simply go online, type in their postcodes to see how the weather will be affected in their area. The findings from the report are a lot worse than the government had hoped. It is predicted that by the year 2050, the temperature in the UK will rise by two degrees. And for people that have been enjoying the hot weather, the, hot, the prospect of a hotter British summer may not seem like such a bad idea. But this change to the British climate would also cause regular floods in the UK, similar to the floods that destroyed many people's homes in northern England in 2005. There will also be heat waves during the summer which have been known to pose serious health risks, exemplified by the number of deaths in mainland Europe in 2003. Environment agencies say that people won't be able to live in countries like Brazil and Australia because they've become too hot, a lot worse than what's happening in the UK. And for countries like Bangladesh and Holland, which will already be low sea level, they'll become flooded. The temperature has risen by two degrees because of the way we use energy and the way we have damaged the environment in the past. But scientists say that if we act quickly, we can prevent this from becoming worse in the future. And in December, in the climate conference, there will be discussions of how we can reduce climate change in the future. What do you think about the rise in temperature predicted for the UK? Will you go online and find out how the weather in your area will change in the future? And what are you doing to help stop climate change? Log on to www.catch21.co.uk and let us know your views on the government's report on climate change.